Look at that. Another beautiful morning. So Jim called late last night and said he needed some help. So let's get to it. So we'll walk out here. So basically you guys told me Buck is driving me crazy because I haven't been feeding him. I need to feed him. There you go, Buck. Should there. Look how hungry he is. So before we head over to Jim's, I want to spray our uh, grass that we just uh, mowed down. Needs a good little shot of fertilizer. So we will get in our old and trusty wrinkly 6000. It's not wrinkly, it's a beautiful sprayer. Start this old girl up. And we will have to go fill up with some fertilizer. I believe I still have some in my fertilizer tank. We'll go see here quickly. Yep, appears we still have some in there. That's good. So we got 320 gallons. The sprayer doesn't hold a lot, so if you look down there, all the tank is is right there, so definitely have to make multiple trips we might as well just take that uh, tank down there but we'll see how far we get in this first pass and then if we don't get far we'll go home and grab it here quickly so the plan is basically we need to make sure we get a better crop of grass this time around so need to make sure that this is uh, fully fertilized for uh, next uh, second cutting crop. All right, so we'll fold that out, start spraying here. You know, this sprayer doesn't go the fastest, so good thing is it's still early in the morning. Hopefully Jim won't get too mad if we show up a little bit late today. So these fields ain't the biggest fields, so we're probably not going to take too much time spraying. Probably just need about four rounds, probably, will be good enough. We'll see. If we had Jim's sprayer, it'd basically take us one pass. Maybe two passes. If I'm lost along the way. Alright, so we're already driving into the second field. Doesn't take long here. We're gonna unfold this boom. Start in over here. Looks like we got 215 gallons right now, so doesn't take long spraying. Just remember though, I didn't get my bales off this field. Only got two bales, so probably why I forgot. I mean, really, it's two bales. So, not a huge deal, but there's the two bales, so I'll probably just spray around them. I might not even pick them up until next cutting all right so we are done spraying so it took just about 200 gallons so that's not too shabby so that crop at least hopefully will be better than last crop not gonna feed these cattle over here on two bales per cutting that's for sure. 
got to do better. Uh, that was a uh, farmer fail for me. Huge fail, if you want to call it. So I need to get over to Farmer Jim's. He has a lot of stuff for me to do. So I'm going to park this here quickly in the shed and get over to Jim's. All right, we'll open up this garage door and get our beautiful GMC out. So Jim has a lot on his list for me to do. He said he wants to start side dressing, but he has a lot of chores prior to that he needs me to do. All right, so we'll pull in here past the co-op into Jim's. Looks like, ah, uh, Jim got him a low boy trailer up there. Wonder if that has something to do with what he wants me to do. Yeah, gotta park my truck by his big Ford. Oh man. Truck feels so small parking by that truck. Alright, let's see what he wants to do. All right, so Jim gave us our to-do list. Man, is it high. So first off, we got to go hook up to this uh, trailer with one of his four, four 9,000s. Man, I think I'm going to pick the red version. So I think these are basically identical. One's just kind of uh, white grayish and one's just uh, a reddish color jump into one of these all right so we need to go hook up onto this uh, trailer basically Jim wants us to do a few chores first one is not going to be easy so I'm gonna unhook need to unhook that and then I'm gonna park this over to the side and I believe all right so Jim wants us to hook up to this he's gonna trade that in Whew. all right so first we got to move this uh, 8000 series we'll probably use that just to hook it up and that uh, header ain't gonna be the easiest to move. All right, we'll start this old girl up. Probably just leave it running. All right, leave it right there. Now we're gonna have to hook up the his uh, get his old combine out here just so we can move that head. So we will. Uh, Hopefully, oh man, everything is in the way. Everything is in the way, Jim. All right, so we have to uh, move uh, Jim's old wrinkly truck here. No, it's not really wrinkly, it's just a 2017. So move that over to the side. Hoping this thing starts up. Lexion 760. There we go. Yeah. Starts up. So now comes the hard part. It's backing this old girl up. He does not have a backup camera, which doesn't make this the easiest. Man, this is not easy backing up without a backup camera, Jim. All right. So, got this over here. Don't know exactly if I'm just going to move it over to the side for a little while, then park it. Alright, hook this up. We don't have to hook up the PTO shaft yet. There we go, gotta get it out of the way. It's not the easiest, Jim. Alright, so gotta back this old girl up right there. All right, we'll probably just leave that running. So now, so now we gotta hook up to this uh, 
nitrogen bar here so we can get to that. Dang, so much moving around here. Jim needs some more uh, outside storage, I guess. Hook up to this. Alright, I think that's close enough. Alright, so we'll pull this out of the way. I think... I don't know if that... His little uh, utility tractor will have enough weight in the front. Hoping it will. So I can just use that. So I don't have to unhook this. Yeah, that, Oh man, I don't know. This might not have enough weight. We'll unhook that quickly. Start his old, uh, we'll start his old 6230 up. Man, this is going to be awful tipsy using this, but because this can get in and out so easily, I just much rather use this. Woo! Front end is a little tipsy, can barely drive here. We are not going to break any land speed records. I just need to get it over on this flatbed. Alright, so we're going to back it up on this flatbed. Basically, this is not a big load for this at all. Just need to take this because he's going to trade this side dresser off. So he's going to trade this Orphman side dresser off for a few new side dressers. Yep, not going to be a heavy load, that's for sure. But at least that is done. Now I can park this quickly. Put this over to the side. Put it on the mower. Might have to borrow this mower for mowing around my place. I'm sure you've seen how nasty my yard is. But right now, we are busy doing this. Alright, so now I'm going to park this. Back this up. The good thing is, we didn't have to use this this year. Nitrogen bar, back this up. Oh. There we go. Keep backing it up. Oh man, didn't even have to pull forward. Just gonna back this all the way up to the back wall. Lower. Alright, that'll probably be good for that. Now I'm just gonna. So now we could just park this 8000 series. Alright, so that part is done. Now we gotta get his combine over here. Alright. Move this quickly. Well, that wasn't hard. So now that header. So that header won't fit into his shed over here. That's why we don't put it over there. Kind of unfortunate. Need a bigger roll up door here for it to fit. Big 12 row head. Go get right over here to the side. And we're good. All right, that's done with that. Now all we have to do is take this little dinky uh, uh, bar over, trade that in, hook this semi up here. All right, means I got a wide load. I'm gonna turn the flashers on. I look both ways before I pull out. These drivers are just absolutely crazy. We're headed down here. The cars behind me are just honking and being so rude. Can't believe the drivers around this area. Don't know. I mean, Oregon, you have no patience or what the heck's the deal? Looks like this is our dealership right here. 
gonna pull over here for truck and uh, pull in the back over here. Get the dealership to take our uh, bar off. So hopefully we can get both of these blue jet side dressers put on the trailer. Alright, so the dealership has a tractor over here for us to use to help us load these. It's kind of convenient. We just have to load both of these little side dressers on for Jim. We also have to pick that uh, fertilizer trailer up over there too later on. Alright, got it hooked up. Now, tight turn here, that's for sure. Whew. All right, so we will just uh, put this one on backwards. All right, so we got that fertilizer side dresser put on. So we're going to have plenty of room. I'm a little bit worried. Probably didn't have to put it back so far, but these things ain't. Uh, weighted down much, so we don't really have to worry about the load too much on this. Put this up. There we go. So this one's almost in the perfect position. Ooh. Almost hit that trailer there. Really close to hitting that trailer. So, there we go. Didn't really give myself the best position here. Oh, back up here. Do you get to see my backup skills? Non skills, whatever you want to call them. There we go. Both of them loaded up. Ready to take this to Jim's. We we'll park their tractor over here quickly by their beautiful Ford truck. Thing is a beast over there. No, oh, I wouldn't mind having that truck someday. We got to back this trailer all the way up out of this dealership. It is not easy and we're going very slow. Don't want to break his new uh, applicators here. Alright, so we're heading down here. This load of applicators. Make this a wide turn. Hopefully we don't get any crazy drivers coming around this turn here quickly start headed home really happy that there's no traffic right now because man this trailer is wide and I can't really drive it into the ditch because it's just get too bumpy it'll just bump them applicators right off of that trailer so far they're riding really good we just have a few more miles to go before we hit gyms hopefully we hit it here quickly probably just back this up now I'm gonna race that other 9000 series down there really quickly to go get the other app all right so we're gonna jump into this 9000 and race down there and get that uh, trailer one down here shouldn't take too long now just have to go get that trailer luckily this trailer isn't as wide so we won't have to be worried about this crazy traffic around here beautiful truck heading down the road here tight fit down these roads but definitely a big truck to have down these roads so we're just pulling in here now that we got a full load of fertilizer. Pull this truck up. Now we just have to hook up our uh, side dressers. Alright, so we are just pulling this first uh, applicator off here. I'll pull this off to the side here. Hopefully I get to drive this tractor. Jim did take off. So Jim did take off with his other tr truck, so I don't know if he will be able to run, but he wanted me to hook up both applicators here. 
So now the hard part is is getting this applicator off. You gotta go get this uh, 8000 series older tractor. Looks like this hood could use a little paint. We'll take this over and hook up this other applicator here quickly. Alright, so we got this applicator off. I think I'm just going to park this one over to the side for now in case Jim comes back. He'll grab this one and probably kick me out of the nice. The 83. Park this over here nicely somewhere. Probably over here in the corner. There we go. That will do nicely. Alright, shut that off. Probably going to get this trailer out of the way here quickly. Back this old girl up. All right, we'll leave this parked right here. Shut off the lights. All right, now I need to go put in some fertilizer in this trailer. Drive it over here. I think I have enough room. Yep, should have enough room. Gonna be tight, I guess. This is a tight yard, Jim. Alright, so we will go about right there. Alright, so we got this tank filled up now. Now we gotta go to the fields. We got about a just over a thousand gallons filled up. Let's get our uh, flashers on here. Start heading down. Because definitely need it for this traffic. Whew. A little bump there, Jim. We're going to head down over here. This corn off to the side here is just a little bit too high for us to applicate, so we're going to go over to the soybeans here. Just give it a little uh, nutrients. Not too often that you uh, side applicate uh, soybeans, but our soil samples basically said that they could use a little bit of nitrogen and basically mostly some nutrients there we go looks like we're headed away now so going about eight miles an hour here so not gonna break any record we will start doing this this is an odd shaped field that's for sure so it's gonna take us a little while Hopefully Jim comes around and doesn't kick us out of this nice tractor because I kind of like driving this brand new tractor here. Make sure I'm getting over far enough. It's always hard doing the outside pass or the headlands when you don't really get to use GPS too often. If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail when I'm lost and erased? If I cry when I'm blue, if I cry. I do if I cry when I'm blue through wind and through rain all right so we're just finishing up this little itty bitty stretch we have remaining in this field we're gonna head right over to the other field right beside it there's just a basically a water divider patch of grass there. So down in that ravine. 
Oh. Is this Jim over here? It looks like Jim is over here. Don't know exactly what he wants. So it looks like Jim, he's going to want us to probably get that uh, fertilizer tender or trailer down here for him. Hopefully he doesn't kick us out of this tractor. Ooh, don't want to hit his truck with the new applicator. That would be bad. All right, I'll just uh, shut this tractor off here. Go ride back with Jim here. Jim's truck sure is high here. He can basically go over all these ditches pretty easily. This thing is a pretty nice truck. I don't know, is it better in my Chevy? Might be. I don't know if it's $20,000 better in my Chevy though. Don't know if it's that much better. We'll go over here. I'm sure he's gonna have me move his uh, truck there. All right, we're just gonna move this down over here to give us a little uh, fill up after we get empty. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it because we're gonna be doing application on both sides of the field, I believe. Can I put it on this side right here? little bit tipsy but I think it might work all right I ended up putting it down the road here a little bit so should it be now I just have to walk all the way back to the tractor oh Jim don't you know I'm out of shape <sighs> oh, man this is so far Jim you should have gave me a ride Alright, here we are, back to the tractor. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of here soon. Just going around here. Started on our second field. Going right by our fertilizer tender here. Not too big of a field. Got a few islands in it. Not too much of an issue for this uh, fertilizer side dresser here, applicator. So really liking these things so far so they make this really easy so basically this helps uh, put that application right into the ground so you, so you don't have any lead burnout or anything like that so and you don't have any uh, erosion of your chemicals or you know if it rains right afterwards it's safe for that uh, nitrogen to hold tight into the soil so it can't be used later by the plant so this is just a little bit insurance that your money that you put in gets used properly hopefully I can get around these trees without too many problems didn't have any issues with that top land uh, field there driving around here hoping I get don't get kicked out of this tractor uh oh uh oh is that Jim coming up uh oh hopefully Jim doesn't want us uh, to trade this isn't good signs here uh oh Jim oh man I think we're going to have to uh, go into the old tractor right there. Man, I enjoyed using this tractor here. But I don't get to continue. Don't have too much left though, so once I get up over here, I will uh, stop. Alright, looks like Jim's taking off right there. So we can get into the old tractor here. Dang it, Jim, I enjoyed that tractor while it lasted. We will be actually side dressing corn over there, so we are going to have to put a little bit more nitrogen in our mixture here. Alright, so we're filling up while we're on the road here, so I want to make sure we fill up quickly. Alright, that was a little nervous. 
waiting for that traffic. So I'm hoping I can fit into this field down the road. Turn on the flashers here quickly. Oh yeah, I got plenty of room. I forgot this field doesn't have a fence on it. Alright, now I just gotta fold this thing out here. Alright, so we're taking off here. Everything's going pretty good so far. Looks like Jim's still going around the field there. Looks like our pump's running. Side dressing some corn, so we definitely put some more nitrogen into our mixture other than the ones we're putting on the beans. So that's good because the corn definitely needs it. If you can see it, it's just a little uh, light tipped. So I'd like to get it greened up here. Don't want to get it too starved of nitrogen, that's for sure. Through trouble and pain If ever my heart strained Will you pull me through Like you always do When I I'm just going along here still. Looks like Jim is just about done over there. I have just a little bit, probably about 10 more acres here to do. Not too big of a field. So I'll probably easily make it on this tank full. This thing is going easy. Love side dressing corn. Definitely when you have uh, roll feelers too, so it makes it so much more easy than having to freak guide and pay attention so you don't run over the corn. That's hard. That's hard on the body. Looks like Jim already headed back to the his house. Must be nice to be the owner and get to come to work late and leave work early. That's what is nice about that. It's always a hired hand that has to work the long hours. So we're just going along here. It's like the pump, everything's working great. Might be our last pass. Yeah, probably is our last pass we have to do here. So this should be our last pass. We gotta go down here. So pretty quick day actually, didn't not too long of a day pick up some applicators and side dress some fields but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time